This medication is commonly used to treat acne by stopping the growth of certain bacteria on the skin that can worsen acne. Sodium sulfacetamide belongs to a class of drugs known as sulfa antibiotics. It is usually applied to the affected skin once or twice a day, or as directed by your doctor. It is important to use it regularly and at the same time each day for the best results. This medication is meant to be used only on the skin. Before each use, make sure to shake the container well. Then, with clean hands, apply a thin layer of the lotion to the areas of skin with acne as directed by your doctor. This is usually done twice daily. After applying the lotion, make sure to wash your hands with soap and water. Be careful to avoid getting this medication in your eyes, nose, or mouth. If it does happen, rinse the area with plenty of water. It's important to use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. Make sure not to use more than the prescribed amount, use it more often, or use it for a longer time than recommended by your doctor. Using too much or too often can increase your risk of side effects without improving your condition any faster. If your acne does not improve after a few weeks, make sure to inform your doctor. And if your acne gets worse, or if you develop a rash or other serious side effects, stop using the medication and contact your doctor right away. When using sulfacetamide sodium suspension, topical, you may experience skin redness, irritation, stinging, and burning at the application site. These effects should lessen over time as your body adjusts to the medication. If they persist or worsen, it is important to stop using the medication and seek medical advice. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, in rare cases, the medication may be absorbed into the body and cause serious side effects such as joint pain, rash on the nose and cheeks, signs of infection, signs of anemia, unusual bleeding or bruising, signs of liver problems, and mouth sores. If you experience any of these serious side effects, it is important to stop using the medication and seek medical attention immediately. While a serious allergic reaction to this medication is rare, it is important to seek medical help right away if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. If you notice any other effects not listed here, make sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. And if you are in the US, you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using sulfacetamide sodium suspension, topical, it's important to discuss any allergies you may have with your doctor or pharmacist. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. Make sure to inform your doctor about any areas of skin near where the product will be applied that are cut, scraped, burned, or infected, as injured skin may absorb more of the product and increase the chance of serious side effects. It's also important to inform your doctor about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products, before having surgery. If you are pregnant, only use this medication when clearly needed and discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It's also important to consult your doctor before using this medication while breastfeeding, as it is unknown if the drug passes into breast milk. When using sulfacetamide sodium suspension, topical, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's essential to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this with your doctor and pharmacist. This will help them to determine if there are any potential interactions to be aware of. Additionally, it's crucial not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without first consulting your doctor. One specific product that may interact with sulfacetamide sodium suspension, topical is skin products containing silver. It's important to be cautious and seek advice from your healthcare provider if you are using any of these products while also using sulfacetamide sodium suspension, topical. If this medication is accidentally ingested, it can be dangerous. If someone takes too much and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. 
In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can reach out to a provincial poison control center for assistance. It's important to use sulfacetamide sodium suspension, topical only as directed by your healthcare provider. This medication should not be shared with others. Make sure to keep all your medical appointments to monitor your progress and any potential side effects. This will help ensure that you are getting the most benefit from this medication. Remember to follow your doctor's instructions carefully and ask any questions you may have about the proper use of this medication. If you forget to use the medication, use it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and use the next one at the regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store sulfacetamide sodium suspension, topical at room temperature and away from children and pets. It's important to not flush this medication down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. When it's expired or no longer needed, be sure to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for more information on the best way to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.